where did you find the love of hip hop? Like, was it in school? Were you in grade school? When, when, when did you know that you wanted to to do that hip hop thing? I say, yo, you answered a lot of good questions. Well, <laughs> the interlude. Who is you? Who is you to be asking me all? <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a good question. Um, all right. So, if you don't mind, I'm gonna talk a little bit, right? So, <clears throat> growing up, that's why you're here. Growing up in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. My mom's family is Puerto Rican, so her uncle's background, Tito Puente, they mm-hmm. played music with Tito Puente. I know her um, record collection was ridiculous. Yeah. Um, her her brother, her older brother, my Uncle Cheeto, married- Uncle Cheeto. Uncle Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Cheeto, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uncle Cheeto, God bless his soul. <laughs> Right, he married he married a lady named Lillian Lopez, and Lillian Lopez was the lead singer of a group oh, named Odyssey. Mm-hmm. Um, Sorry. That's all right, baby. Um, her name was she was the lead singer of a group called Odyssey, and Odyssey made the records. You're a native New Yorker, and don't tell me, tell her it's mm-hmm. over. So my uncle married her, so she was my aunt growing up. Okay. So I had access to that plus the Spanish side. So this is the things I'm growing up hearing. My my father was a jazz man. My mother ended up marrying a gentleman by the name of Jeff Wallace, and he was a disco funk oh, you soul were surrounded dude. by music. Right, and then my mother got the funk and the soul and the Spanish, so between all of that, I'm getting it. But I was the only child, so I was the kid at everybody's house on my bike going everywhere. So I'd be at Rochelle's Adele in, the, in Flatbush. I'd be up at Best-Stuy um, at my grandmother's house because she lived on Bainbridge between Ralph and Howard, so mm-hmm. I'm up there rocking with them. That's how I know Chris Rock and Andre Rock and all of them because they lived on that mm-hmm. side of town. Um, so I'm the kid riding my bike everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So I'm hearing everything. I'm going to Best Style, seeing Fat Five Freddy and this hip hop thing. I'm in I'm in Crown Heights and I'm seeing the Fat Boys and I'm seeing all of this stuff. I'm getting these tapes from these dudes from the Bronx called the Cold Crush. So I'm, I'm just like, what's happening here? What's happening here? And I think the thing that really took it over was my neighbor, his name was Wendell Lowe. You remember Wendell? Mm-mm. Okay, well Wendell Lowe, he also wanted to rap and he approached me and said, let's be in a rap group. I said, all right, cool. So we formed this rap group called the Death Defying 3MCs. Three MCs. <laughs> <laughs> Death Defying 3MCs. So it was you, Wendell? And Tal- and Tamel. Okay. If, and Luke didn't come till later. Because the, I left, and then Luke was the third member okay. when they went to Wingate. But DJ Clark Kent was our DJ. Oh, okay. Oh, we used to call him How DJ. Clark doing? Clark was doing excellent. Okay. Excellent. But, you know, back then, so... You know, Clark DJ my 16th birthday party. Really? My crib. So that was the original group. Wendell, Tamel, D, uh, like I called myself Master D back then. And Master DJ Clark, D. And DJ Clark Kent. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that was the and that was the Death Defying 3MC. Okay. <laughs> Crazy. So that was little Derek right there. And uh, so how, uh, tell me what, yeah. with the Death Defying 3MCs, yes. did, you know, what came out of that group? Did anything come out of it? Like, did you ever get... Any yeah. recognition? Yeah, or? yeah, we went to, we did all them, all the local shows everybody was doing. I mean, seeing him at shows of the skating rink in Queens, I forgot what it was called. Um, USA. USA, we mm-hmm. performed there. We battled a couple of people. Um, um, Clark used to take me around because I was more of the, f- the freestyle out of the three of them. Like, I was the dude that could pretty much come off the okay. top of the head a little bit more than them if I found a scenario. So, Clark would take me around and kind of battle people, mm-hmm. kind of, sort of, like, for money? Really just, not really, it wasn't really bad. It was like cypher. You know, right, we right, call right. it just, you do something, you do something, everybody claps for you. Mm-hmm. So I was doing that. Um, that that was really the gist of it. Um, Wendell, Tamel, and Luke, they ended up becoming the ultra death defying 3MC, oh. the UDD. They went to Wingate, and then they ended up hooking with Kango and UTFO oh, and them. Okay. I ended up going to Tilden, so that's how I met Little Sean, Special Ed, Miss Melody. Who um, is it that you don't know? What? Um, I mean, you know, I was, I was only child. Him. No, I was the only child, so I wanted to be on everybody. You know what I mean? I didn't have brothers, mm-hmm. so if you was, if you had something that was cool, I'm gonna get down with you. And I'm the type of person I don't want no problems. I come in peace. Right. You know what I mean? I don't want no problems. So I'm, I'm a good teammate. Like, mm-hmm. I'm a good teammate. I'm, and I'm, a, I'm gonna do my part. Like I'm not just gonna help you. If you need somebody to get on base, I'm gonna get on base. Right. I feel you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm one of them dudes. So yeah.